The GOSAT series is a series of Japanese Earth observation satellites for monitoring major greenhouse gases. The GOSAT series, consisting of GOSAT, GOSAT-2, and GOSAT-GW, aims to contribute to the advancement of science and policy making on climate change. GOSAT, the world's first satellite specializing in greenhouse gas observation, has been operating since 2009 and has achieved significant results. With enhanced functions, GOSAT-2 can automatically avoid clouds, which are obstacles to observations, and also observe carbon monoxide. The upcoming GOSAT-GW will be equipped with a new sensor. This will allow wider areas of the Earth's surface and atmosphere to be covered and more data to be collected. While the GOSAT series primarily observes carbon dioxide and methane, GOSAT-2 and GOSAT-GW also simultaneously observe carbon monoxide and nitrogen dioxide respectively, improving the ability to verify and identify the amount of carbon dioxide emitted by human activities. The GOSAT series measures the concentration of greenhouse gases by observing sunlight reflected off the surface of the Earth. Therefore, valid data can only be gathered in clear sky areas. GOSAT and GOSAT-2 observe a circular area of about 10 kilometers in diameter, generally at intervals of 160 kilometers. Although it results in sparse observations, they observe the globe in three to six days. Both satellites are equipped with sensors of the same mechanism and have been obtaining consistent data. This visualization shows the global concentrations of carbon dioxide observed by GOSAT. Seasonal changes can be seen, with lower concentrations in summer regions and higher concentrations in winter regions. This graph shows the monthly average concentration of carbon dioxide in the whole atmosphere, based on GOSAT observation data. Recent observations show that the concentration of carbon dioxide has been increasing by 2.3 ppm per year. This graph shows the monthly average concentration of methane in the whole atmosphere. Methane has also been increasing by 0.015 ppm per year with seasonal fluctuations. The latest data is available monthly on the National Institute for Environmental Studies website. GOSAT-GW is the third satellite of the GOSAT series, scheduled to be launched by March 2025. GOSAT-GW will also have another sensor to observe precipitation and sea ice distribution, in addition to greenhouse gas observation. GOSAT-GW will monitor wider areas of the Earth's surface instead of point-based observation, which is a major shift from the previous GOSAT series satellites. GOSAT-GW will also have two selectable observation modes, wide mode and focus mode. In wide mode, a 911 km swath area is observed with a spatial resolution of 10 km. In focus mode, a 90 km swath area is observed with a spatial resolution of 3 km. The focus mode will be used for observations targeting cities, power plants, and gas and oil facilities.
Let's compare the observation methods of each satellite from the GOSAT series. GOSAT observes the entire globe in three days. However, GOSAT cannot obtain data from cloudy areas. GOSAT-2 observes the entire globe in more detail over a six-day period. Its automatic cloud avoidance function greatly increases the collection of valid data. The ability to observe specific locations is also enhanced. GOSAT-GW will monitor large emission sources by shifting the observation method from point-based to wide-area observations and increasing the collection of valid data. The GOSAT GW's technology will enable more accurate estimation of greenhouse gas emissions from large cities and other areas. It will also aim to detect emission sources that cannot be detected by current observation techniques. The Paris Agreement requires each country to publish its greenhouse gas emissions. GOSAT GW's observations can also be used to validate the data and improve its accuracy and reliability. The GOSAT series will continue its contribution to the science and policy making of climate change.